Hi everybody. I am going to um, make something that my friend Jen Zeppelin showed us on her channel. It is uh, She's Jen Zeppelin here on YouTube and she's got a show called Baking After Midnight and everything that she shows uh, that she makes for us is oh, just looks amazing. So I decided I was going to try her um, mandarin um, upside down cakes, little mini cakes. So I have um, greased the muffin tins. Next step is uh, we're going to take a half a cup of brown sugar and mix it with a quarter of a cup of melted butter. Okay. What I like about um, Jen's recipes is uh, she always makes them look so easy and quick, and uh, they always look remarkably good. Um, these this little these little cakes looked really nice, and I wanted to get these done because Skeety comes home from Key West tomorrow, and uh, I'll give them I'll give him some. I'll give my dad some. Okay, then what we're going to do is take um, this mixture. Distribute it evenly in the bottom of the tins. I'm trying to make it look easy as she does, but she seems to be quite the pro. So, okay, that's the first little layer in the bottom. Okay. Alrighty, then after that, what you do is you take man. Um, cherries. Put a cherry in the center of each. And she said you can also, um, other than mandarin oranges, you could use crushed pineapple if you like. Okay, that's our cherries. Now we put mandarin slices around the cherries. What fun. Oh my god. Uh, you know, it's just the idea. Um, just listening to the ingredients in her recipe. Um, the, the, uh, they sounded so delicious. They looked so pretty when they were finished. So, I'm curious to taste them. So many things that she makes. Uh, is something that, uh, you know, half of the stuff she makes is stuff I would like to try. She really makes some uh, some great stuff. Beautiful muffins. Okay, once you get... Uh, actually, I'll finish putting all the mandarins in, and then I'll be back with you. Show you the next step. Hi, everybody. Okay, next step. First kitchen mishap. Um, <laughs> cut myself on the uh, cut myself on the um, mandarin orange can. Oh, I'm such a disaster. Okay, next thing you want to do is take a um, Betty Crocker cake mix, powdered cake mix. Um, you can use white. Jen said you can use white or yellow. I'm using white because I, I just like it better. Make a little well in the center. Okay, and you add one egg. I'm using my beautiful um, atomic bowl. Can you see it? It's very pretty. One egg. Okay, and the um, reserved juice uh, from the mandarin oranges. And then mix that up nice. Simple. I mean, really easy. Uh, I really love the recipe, and it's uh, super easy to make. Uh, there's nothing to it, really. Very, very happy to have discovered her channel. I'm, I always watch them first for pleasure, you know? And then uh, I go back and... Uh, um, 
I go back and uh, slow, like pause and write down the ingredients and what I have to do and stuff like that. So, and uh, I did find a really fabulous, uh, um, what do you call it? A crazy, creepy clown head to hang. I have it hanging in my Jeep. It's like almost like a shrunken head idea. It's really fun. I just want to show you a picture of that. Okay, then after you're mixed, I think we're mixed pretty good. We're going to distribute this stuff into each cup. Let's see if we can do this without making a complete and total mess. So fun. Uh, there's a few uh, cooking shows. Well, actually, Jen's is my favorite, but um, I have always loved Clara. Do you guys have you guys ever seen Clara? She's like 90 something years old, and she she does Depression era cooking. She's just fabulous to watch. But I love Jen's uh, videos because she's got her cats are always uh, featured and. They just look like they're helping her bake. I love it. Love it, love it. I remember that my cats would always be right there with me no matter what I was doing on the kitchen table. Always jump right up on the kitchen table. Chihuahuas uh, obviously can't do that. They're too small. But, um, yeah, my cats are always right there everything from anything I was doing from having my tea to uh, trying to cook really really sweet okay as soon as I'm finished with this I will be back with you okay these are ready to go in the oven uh, Jen says you put them in at 350 for uh, until they're golden brown. Okay, so we will keep an eye on them. I'll try not to uh, forget about them. <laughs> I get so involved with doing things that I totally forget. I've burned so many English muffins and pieces of toast. Like you know, I just put it in and totally forget about it. Um, Raji's getting to lick the ball. Is that good? Just like a little boy. Good boy. Okay, folks, so I'm going to put these in right now, and when they are finished, I will show you. I'll show you how they came out. Love you. Oh, I'll talk to you later. Well, there they are. Just took them out, and they look nice and golden to me. Uh, so now I'm going to attempt to turn them out onto the little um, cooling rack. Jen said you should turn them out right away, and sometimes... They don't turn out very cleanly, but she said just spoon them back together. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, and here they are. They have been turned out of the pan. They look very, very yummy. Just beautiful. And they do. They, they come right out of the pan. I guess because of the um, butter and brown sugar top. You know, the top of it, there's lots of butter in the uh, pan. So it allows them to just like fall out nice but they really they look fine and uh, I'll let you know how they taste I hope you're all having a beautiful beautiful Friday I'll talk to you later I love you all bye